How much of practical politics can be derived from the non-aggression principle? What other principles must be added to the non-aggression principle in judging policy positions? And we'll start with you, William. Myself. Coley. Oh, Mr. Coley. I see the non-aggression principle as the philosophical base of any decision that's made, particularly by government. Force. Force is not okay. Force is not something that we, are, that we are okay with. That is a part of being a libertarian is the fact that you reject the initiation of force. So if a policy initiates force on your neighbors, it is immoral. End of story. There is no argument. There is no discussion. If I think I have a right to use violence against you or your family for any reason, I am wrong. If I feel that I can give that right to someone else when I don't have it, I am wrong. You don't need to add anything to that. That's simple. That's plain. That's libertarianism at its very core. And that is how we should look at our political philosophy, as a philosophy that rejects the use of violence against others in any and all cases except for self-defense. Thank you. Larry, over to you. I wish I could just say ditto. <laughs> you can. Remember something, everyone. Government is law. And most people think they're being righteous when they say there ought to be a law. They think they're not, they're, they're not talking about force. There ought to be a law. I'm doing the right thing. But law is force. It's just, out it's, it's just outsourced force to our police force and to our judge system. And that's OK, because sometimes force is the right answer. If there's a victim, if there's a loss of property, or a threat of loss of property, or life, or limb, then force is okay. But why would you want to use force for something that doesn't have a victim? If there's no victim, then there should be no force, then there should be no law. Then there should be no government. It is that simple. The NAP is the basis. If I would not, if I don't think it's okay to physically grab a cigarette from your mouth, then there should be no law about those cigarettes. Thank you, Larry. Over to you, William. Well, I certainly don't think a government should be run on the aggression principle only, although there's a lot of evidence that one of the major candidates for president this year feels that in his bones. And that way, madness lies. We're going to be an outlier as a nation. We'll be violating all of our treaties. We'll be violating all of our international obligations. We'll be violating international law. We will be the rogue nation. We'll be the North Korea of the next eight years, if that happens. So you know, flipping it on its side, obviously, that's a non-starter. I, I do think that uh, the construct of a system of laws which can cabin and crib people around so that one bad uh, person cannot make things happen in Washington. That is important. It's going to demand skill sets other than purely non-aggression. It will demand putting yourself in the position of your interlocutor across the table and thinking what's necessary to reach common ground. But maybe most people would think that's pretty non-aggressive. It's certainly not what they do in Washington today. Thank you. Alicia, over to you. The non-aggression principle is an excellent rubric to measure all of our laws and our policies. Our laws, government is law, and our laws should not extend beyond uh, natural rights, which is life, liberty, and property. When we have laws beyond those things, that's when we have atrocities, and that's when we have human rights, and we have suffering, human rights violations and suffering. That's when we have war. The problem with our government is that they have expanded beyond its primary purpose of protecting uh, natural rights of its citizens and protecting the natural rights of, its, of the country uh, into aggressive policies. If we could just reapply the non-aggression principle to our laws, we would have a major reduction of the, of the state. Ask a Libertarian Facebook fan page is spreading awareness of libertarianism and informing non-libertarians while empowering those who support liberty on a daily basis. 
This is your opportunity to be empowered and let us advocate libertarianism for you at facebook.com slash ask a libertarian.